A new year and a new price hike for city bikes. Both members and non-members will see a bump in costs to ride a regular bike and an electric city bike. Chris Welsh breaks down what people can expect to pay in 2023 and how some customers are feeling about it. Yeah, it's all right. It's still worth it. A shrug of the shoulders. That's how city bike user Danielle Dubois feels about the cost of her annual membership going up 20 bucks at the end of January from 185 to 205 dollars. Marshall Ford on the same page. I mean, I'm still going to pay for it. Like she was saying, it's, for me, it's still worth it. I use it a lot. The price of a single trip will jump from 3.99 to 4.49. A day pass from 15 to 19 bucks, and e-bike fees will change as well from 15 cents a minute to 17 cents for members and from 23 cents to 26 cents for non-members. Oh, I might change it then. But not all riders willing to take the hit, which parent company Lyft blames on inflation. It's too much already for me, so yeah. I'll end up like just buying a bike. In a statement, Lyft said they're, quote, committed to working with our city partners and doing our best to provide world-class service while running a financially sustainable system. We should not be putting increased costs on the back of New Yorkers. Elizabeth Adams is with nonprofit Transportation Alternatives. We really need to think about long-term sustainable options to do so. Uh, and so that really comes back to our city leaders investing in bike share. Eric Adams, while campaigning for mayor, said he was open to supporting government subsidies for the bike share program. But one year in, that has not happened. The mayor's office did not respond to our request for comment. City bike user Dave Pinter says we, as a society, have to make some choices. Do we want a city where there's a lot, always, you know, an insane amount of traffic and pollution, or do we want one that's cleaner and easier to navigate? Chris Welch, Fox 5 News.